Hi everyone, you're watching White Mountains TV. I'm Chris Pru, and we're about to talk about a new book, 30 Years in a White Haze, Dan Egan's story of worldwide adventure and the evolution of extreme skiing. We are joined remotely by authors uh, Dan Egan, who has appeared in 14 Warren Miller films in 2001, Potter Magazine named him one of the most influential skiers of our time. And he was inducted into the U.S. Skiing and Snowboarding Hall of Fame in 2016. And co-author Eric Wilbur, who is a skiing and travel writer whose work has appeared in the Boston Globe, New England Ski Journal, and the Boston Metro. Thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, let's, talk, let's start with you, Dan. Uh, give us a little bit of background. What was your inspiration for wanting to write this book? Well, it's my brother John and I, you know, we lived the ski bum lifestyle and traveled all around the world. And uh, in the spirit of Warren Miller, we are storytellers. And so we just had a, so many stories to tell. Uh, and I've been wanting to tell them for a very long time. And thanks to Eric, we eventually got this book completed. And Eric, how did this partnership come about? Did Dan approach you? Did you approach Dan? What was uh, your inspiration for wanting to, to work on this project? Well, you know, I've done some stories on the Egan's in the past for Boston.com and the Boston Globe, and uh, it always fascinated me, the stories they had to tell. Like there was there was enough there to tell a fascinating story. Um, so I approached Dan a couple of years ago, and uh, we kind of played phone tag here and there. Yes, let's do this. No, let's do that. Yes, let's do this. And we finally sat down and said, okay, let's do this. Um, and I remember the day that I met with Dan for the first time to kind of go over the focus for this book um you know really wanting to to be a part of it and remember walking out of the restaurant that day calling my wife and just saying i have to write this book because <laughs> the stories dan was telling me were, were so fascinating um and it's such an emotional uh life that he's had and so many great uh segments uh of drama and inspiration uh that i'm really glad that i got to tell the story Fantastic. So for, for someone who has followed Dan Egan on film and in television and, you know, maybe even, uh, you know, experienced some of his uh, extreme skiing and, you know, powder clinics firsthand, uh, is there, Dan, is there, is there more to the story than that? Because a lot of people feel like maybe they've seen your entire career um, on video and film. Yeah, no, that's a great question. This is more than a ski story, right? It's a story about my family uh, of uh, seven kids growing up in Boston. Uh, my mom growing up on the highest hill in Boston and learning to ski in the 40s down the medium strip of Bellevue Parkway in West Roxbury. Uh, and really the journey from those humble beginnings all the way to the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame and all the many stops along the way. And the book really explores you know, what it's what it means to dedicate your life to a passion. And what we say early in the book is skiing almost saved me and killed me. Um, and Eric, what do you think is going to resonate with with readers when they they read this book? I think it's just that, you know, superstar or not, Dan is like all of us, right? He's got his own problems. He's got his own family issues. Um, and I think that writing all about that, you know, really got me close into the action. Like, I, I feel like I know Dan so well right now. He probably doesn't want me to know him that well, but I do. Uh, and I just think that it's so relatable. A lot of the things that Dan went through, even though, you know, the, the, the regular reader hasn't filmed for Warren Miller dozens of times. Uh, I think that they're going to be able to re relate to Dan in, in ways that they never really imagined they could. Mm. Dan, was, is there a point in time that you can pinpoint where it kind of set you on the path that went that you went down and then because i feel like everybody has that point and then on top of that there's another point that maybe changes your perspective of that path that you're walking yeah absolutely and i think that comes with age you know um in my 20s and 30s skiing around the world living the ski bum lifestyle shooting warren miller films all over the planet uh and then sort of trying to figure out what the career path was uh, in the, in the mid nineties, uh, to now, I think my perspective looks back at, looks at all the risks I took, the places I went and saw a lot of those as 20 year old, 30 year old decisions. Uh, and then now in hindsight, uh, to tie it all together, how it all makes sense. Uh, you know, two kids from Boston, uh, skiing at this level, that itself is like, was sort of preordained by just how we got involved with the Boston ski market, the biggest retailer in New England, uh, worked with them since I was 14. My oldest brother 
uh, ran one of their stores. And when you look at that as a piece of the puzzle, then things start to make sense. All right. Uh, we are talking with Dan Egan, Eric Wilbur, co-authors of 30 Years in a White Haze. And uh, Eric, I want to, what was the, the collaboration like? Because this is not just a chronicle of Dan's exploits. Those have been well documented on, you know, on feature films on the big screen. But it's right. some of also the, uh, you know, the, the, the thoughts and the, the introspection that goes, you know, beyond the, uh, you know, the, the jumps off, off the cliff. And, you know, we see, we see the, the, the best parts of everything, but sometimes things don't always go as planned. And I understand those stories are told in this book as well. Yeah, and I mean, that's probably the part I'm most proud of is that, um, you know, it's not just your typical sports book. It, it really does dive into Dan's persona, um, his personality, his emotions. Uh, and it was, you know, for me to be able to get a lot of that out of Dan, uh, you know, it makes me feel good in that this is my first go around with a biography. And the fact that I was able to, you know, well, hopefully, you know, in my mind, I hope, was able to profile Dan so well and bring his voice to the book in a way that was different without him, you know, having it a first person. You know, the book's in a third person narrative. And that's something we we juggled around for quite a while because we weren't sure if we wanted this to be, you know, in Dan's voice or if Dan wanted the book to have room for others to talk uh, and give their own viewpoints and comments. Uh, and so we chose the latter. And I think that really worked out well. Um, because it's it's a real honest look at Dan's life and a real uh, compelling look at you know what has brought him uh, to this point in his career um, you know and and his roots and it's just really fascinating and I I have not had of all the projects I've worked on this is the most fun I've ever had doing anything because of the fascination with you know Dan and his brother and and his whole family and the and the whole skiing community. Um, the history of the of the sport, uh, all of it combines in this book to give a real good introspective on a man who you know who has dedicated his life to skiing. That's fantastic. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm excited to read this book, kind of to get some of the the behind the scenes of uh, one of the icons of the skiing industry. Uh, we've seen so much of him, especially here in the Boston market. Dan, you've had your show on uh, Nesson. We've followed you on TV and film and. Uh, even in person. So very excited to get the behind the scenes. How do people get the book? Well, you can go to our website, uh, white-haze.com uh, and available at Barnes and Noble and Amazon uh, within the next couple of weeks. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I hope uh, you enjoy the rest of your winter. Right on, Chris. Great. Thanks so much. All right. Dan Egan, Eric Wilbur, co-authors of 30 Years in a White Haze. And uh, you are watching White Mountains TV.